Hey everyone, welcome back to Mode Bespoke. I'm Atenas, and for today's tutorial, we're going to be working on a baby bonnet. So let's get started. So this is what our bonnet will look like once it is completed. Let's go over how to put it together and then I'll teach you how to do all the stitching. So for those of you who know how to crochet already, this body, the body part of the bonnet, so you'll see this on the pattern as well, so the body is crocheted using a variation of the moss stitch. So instead of using a single crochet, use a slip stitch and you can create the body. The back part is used, um, I used a marguerite five point stitch to create um, this back end. So it's like the marguerite stitch, only it has one row of single crochet. So it's the marguerite, single crochet, marguerite, single crochet, and that creates the five point. Um, and then you just use a single crochet for the straps. So if that didn't, if you have no idea what I just uh, talked about, don't worry, we're going to cover how to do all of these stitches here in just a moment. So to put this together, you're going to crochet the body, and then we're going to do this back end. The body uh, I do have measurements for this. There is a sizing chart, so you can find that on the website. I'll link the website in the description box below. Um, you don't need to purchase the chart to have access to the sizing chart, so that's up there. You can use that if you want to. Um, if you want to buy, excuse me, if you want to buy the PDF version of this chart, um, not the chart <laughs> of the pattern. If you want to buy the PDF version of the pattern, there you go. That is available on the website as well. So. To begin, you're going to see a few different sizes on that sizing chart. You're going to see the bonnet depth and you're going to see the bonnet height. So what I did on my chart um, is I did the bonnet depth like this. So I didn't include this back end because this is going to be the measurement for your initial chain is going to be the bonnet depth. So when you start, you're going to do your chain that measures the depth that you need. And I just need it to go from here to here. This is going to be added later. So we just need this measurement. So that is the bonnet depth. The bonnet height, um, a lot of different sizing charts for bonnets, you'll see this, go from the bottom to up here, and then you just have to double it. I just did mine as one long piece because we're gonna crochet one long piece like this. So for my bonnet depth measurement, you're gonna see from here to here. So it's just the total length you need to crochet. That way you don't have to worry about doubling it up or anything. So this will be the bonnet height. And then this part, we're just going to add it here at the end. There isn't a measurement for this, since you, all you're going to do is decrease, and you decrease the same way every time. So this part doesn't matter. It will adjust depending on what size that you make your bonnet. So if this is for a newborn, it'll be the same ratio as it is for this, um, what is this, two to five year old. So you can make it any size, however you want, and you can use whatever yarn you want. I'm using a medium sized yarn. So now we'll go into the materials. Um, I'm using a medium sized yarn. This one is the Karen Simply Soft. So I like it because it's got a sheen and it just shows off the stitching. So I do use this yarn a lot and it's also really soft. So there is this one. For this other one, this one's a smaller one. This is for a uh, newborn, I think, or maybe it's a three to six month. Anyway, it's for baby. Um, this one, I just used a baby yarn so I just grabbed a skein of pink. I can't remember what uh, yarn it was. I took the, the label off of it. I can't remember what kind of yarn it was, but it's just a baby yarn. I think it's like a 3.5, like number 3.5, and this is, I think, maybe a 4. Um, but they're both medium yarns, so just use any medium size yarn you want. You're going to need a 5 millimeter hook. So this is an H hook in the U.S., 5 millimeters everywhere else. You need a pair of scissors, and then you need a yarn or tapestry needle. So those are all the materials you need. Let's get started with the stitch, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So let's get started here with a slip knot. You're going to wrap the yarn around two fingers, insert your hook into that loop, grab this yarn here, and pull that through. Hold this down, and then just remove your hands. So the fingers are your other hand and tighten your slip knot by pulling on those threads. You can also just wrap it around and grab it with your finger to make the loop. There are a whole bunch of different ways. If you don't know how to make a slip knot, 
You can find it on YouTube. I'm sure somebody has a much better way of explaining it than I do. But that's a slip knot. Start with the slip knot and we're going to chain in even numbers. So make the chain using that um, bonnet depth measurement. So make it however long that needs to be, but in even numbers, all right? So to make a chain, if you don't know how, here's your yarn, you're going to wrap it around your hook, and you're going to pull this top loop through this bottom loop, like so. That's it. One chain. Yarn over and pull through for another chain. Yarn over and pull through. So we have three, and we go four, five. So just keep going. Make sure you end in an even number, and then make the chain as long as you need for the measurement or for the size bonnet that you want to make. All right, so once you've finished your chain, I just did, uh, what is it, 10 stitches? So just remember that it has to be an even number. We're going to start with our first row. It's going to be all single crochets. So skip the first stitch, and in the second stitch from your hook, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And you're going to have two loops on your hook. Now you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. That's called a single crochet. Let's do it again. Go into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through both loops. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through both loops. So you're going to single crochet in every stitch of the row. So this is just going to create a nice little border at the very bottom of our bonnet. So let me finish this and I'll show you on the bonnet. And then the stitch, or the row after this, is going to be what I'm going to call the foundation stitch. Um, foundation row. Goodness, I'm getting stitches and rows confused apparently. So the foundation row is going to be different than, than the rest of the stitching. So here, let me show you this first. So we finished our row. This is going to create this nice little border here at the bottom. So here's the bottom of the bonnet. And then we can move on to the variation moss stitch, which I'm just going to call moss stitch from here on out. So just remember that it's a little different, so that way I don't confuse any of my experienced crocheters. All right, so we've done this first row of single crochets. We're going to chain one, turn your work around, and like I said earlier, this row is different than every other row. So this one is just kind of its standalone row, so don't, don't do the rest of them this way. Your very first stitch of the row, so right here, is going to be a single crochet. And now we're going to go straight into the next stitch. And this is going to be a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you're going to pull this front loop through this back loop. There you go. And now we're going to chain one. And while I'm but like before I continue, work with a really loose tension so that you can see your stitching. If you tighten this up too much, it's going to be a little difficult to see and it's going to be very difficult for you to insert your hook into the stitches in later rows. So work with a loose tension, all right? So don't tighten up all of these stitches. All right, so skip the next stitch and then go to the one after that and slip stitch. So insert your hook pull up a loop, and then pull this top loop through the bottom loop. Don't lose your stitch though. There we go. And now chain one, skip a stitch, and go to the next one. And we're going to slip stitch. And then chain one, skip a stitch, go to the next one, and slip stitch. Okay, so at the end of the row, this one's going to be a little different, all right? So we're going to skip the stitch and we're going to slip stitch in the second to last stitch of the row. And now don't chain one. Just do the slip stitch. And this last stitch of the row is going to be a single crochet. So go from the slip stitch straight into the single crochet. And there we go. So that was our foundation row. For our next row, you're going to chain one and turn your work around. So here's where the pattern begins. 
So this is gonna be a series of two rows. So it's just a two row repeat. You're gonna have your even numbered rows and your odd numbered rows. They're gonna be different. So the key to this stitch is these little triangles that you're gonna see. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer and show you. So it does get a little easier to see as you crochet further along. But you're gonna see these little triangle stitches right here. So these, this is what you're gonna work into. So once you make, we're gonna do a slip, uh, I'm sorry, single crochet, and then you're gonna skip. Your slip stitch is gonna go into this third stitch. So yeah, if you just take a look at it, it kinda looks like a triangle. I'll show you again as uh, we move along a little bit further, it's gonna be a little easier to see. All right, so let's get started with this very first stitch. We're gonna make a single crochet. So I'll tell you now at the beginning, so the first stitch and last stitch of every row is gonna be a single crochet. That will create a nice even edge for you. So you'll be able to see the stitching a little bit better than if we just started right away with a slip stitch. So you're gonna, you'll be happy about it later, I promise. So for now, just remember, first stitch and last stitch are always a single crochet. Now, if we look at our work, we're gonna see our little triangle right there. So we, we've done our single crochet, now we're gonna skip a stitch, and we're gonna go into this next one. So, chain one, skip this stitch, and slip stitch into the next stitch. So slip stitch in here. Now chain one, skip this next stitch and go into this next little triangle. And we're gonna slip stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, go into this next one. And if you notice, I'm not going right through this top of the stitch. So I'm not going at the very top like this. There's gonna be this extra stitch down here. So there's this top one and then there's this one on the side go right in between both of these threads. So right between those two threads of yarn, and that's where you're gonna insert your hook and pull up your loop for your slip stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, and then slip stitch in the stitch after that. Chain one, and now we're at the end of the row. So you've got one last triangle stitch right here. So this is what they all look like, that's actually quite clear. So, see you've got your little sides. So that's what you're looking for in all of these other stitches. Anyway, so you're gonna slip stitch into that last little triangle. And we're gonna go straight into our single crochet. For the single crochet, just go into this very last stitch of the row. And then we're gonna single crochet here, all right? We're done. So that was the first row. The second row of our two row repeat goes like this. You're going to start with a chain one, turn your work around, and work your single crochet into that first stitch. Now for this one, you immediately have a triangle stitch right next to your single crochet. So you don't skip a stitch, you don't chain one, you don't anything. You go straight into the next stitch, which is a slip stitch. So we just slip stitch, and then we chain one, and then we go into the next little triangle stitch, which is right there. We're gonna slip stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, and go into this one. Go, slip stitch, oh no, let's just do that one over. There we go. Now chain one, skip a stitch, go into the next one. Slip stitch, chain one. So you have your slip stitch, and then we're gonna chain one and do your single crochet at the end. And there we go. Now for our next row, chain one, turn your work around, 
and you're going to do your very first stitch is a single crochet. There we go. Now if you notice, you're going to have that triangle stitch right there. So it's that very first, or well right next to the very first stitch. So you're going to go right into it and crochet your slip stitch. So you've done your single crochet and you immediately work a slip stitch. And now you chain one and you go to your next triangle stitch. So right there. So you're going to skip this one, go into the next triangle stitch. And then you slip stitch, chain one, skip one, go into your next triangle so you can see the triangles now. Slip stitch, chain one, skip a stitch and go into the triangle. Got slip, chain, skip, slip, chain, skip. So for these last two, it's going to be the same as what we did in the front. So you're going to do a slip stitch in that last little triangle of the row, and you're going to immediately make a single crochet. So there isn't a chain or anything, it's just a, immediately a single crochet. Now you chain one. Turn your work around and we're going to repeat row one. So for row one, you single crochet, chain one, and go into that first triangle. So chain one, skip one, and then we do our slip stitch. So chain one, skip one, slip stitch. So I'll work this row really quick so we can do one more repetition of that second row repeat. So let me finish this real fast. There we go. All right, so here we're at the end. So we did that second to last, or I guess the last little triangle. And then we're going to chain one and do our last single crochet at the very last stitch of the row. So for our, our second row repeat, so this is row number four. So it's a repetition of row two, guys. So chain one, turn your work around. We're gonna work our single crochet and now, if you see, there's that little triangle. You can see both sides of it. So it's a little bit easier to see. So here you go, see, triangle. You're gonna go right into that stitch, okay? That's gonna be your slip stitch. So single crochet and then immediately slip stitch. Now you chain one and go to the next triangle. And that's it, that's all there's to it. So it's similar to a moss stitch, only you're using a slip stitch instead of a single crochet. So if you were to want to make this in a moss stitch, just single crochet here into the little triangles. All right, we'll do this last one. And then immediately follow that up with a single crochet. And there you go. Okay, so that's, you just have to repeat a row one and two until you get the length that you need. For your hat so whatever measurement that is for your size specifically just go with the bonnet height and then for that last row we have to finish with a single crochet because our very first row was a single crochet row and that created this nice little edge to our bonnet so it's nice and cute and even and we want both sides to look the same so for that very last row so this is once you have completed the length that you need so your bonnet height you're going to chain one, let's zoom in here, and we're gonna to have to crochet a single crochet in every stitch. So you're not just crocheting into the triangles anymore. You're crocheting one in here, one in here, one in here, one in here, in every single stitch. So just single crochet. And I showed you how to do this earlier. If you don't remember how, go to the very beginning of the video. So it's every single stitch. So while I finish this real quick, just a reminder, you can find the PDF version of this pattern. It is available on the website. The website is linked in the description box below. The measurement chart is available for free. You can find that it's on the site. It's on the same page as the pattern. So all of those links are in the description box below. So here we go.
I've got just a few left. So just make sure you don't skip any of these stitches. There we go. And that's it. Once you've done your row of single crochet, you are done. All you have to do now is cut a, or here, do one chain. So we're gonna chain one. There we go. Now cut a length of yarn. So you're gonna weave this in. So cut a nice length of yarn and weave in your ends so that your work looks like this. So you won't have any, any yarn tails anywhere. If you don't know how to weave in ends, look in the description box below or somewhere up here on the video. I will link the how to weave in ends video. So I show you how to do that. Weave in your ends so you can easily wash your bonnet. Otherwise you risk um, your work becoming unraveled and that would just be really sad. So weave in the ends and then we'll get back to this part. Okay, so we finished all of this. Now we're gonna move on to the back of the bonnet. So this back end. I told you earlier, we're gonna be using a five point marguerite um, stitch. So we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a row of single crochets and then the marguerite, single crochet, marguerite, single crochet. Now with this back part, it may be a little bit different for you. So I need you to be a little flexible here because I didn't give you a specific number of rows to complete. That is because this is all dependent on what yarn you use. So if you use a thicker yarn versus a thinner yarn, or you know you crocheted with a little bit um, less tension than I did. So this piece is gonna be different. So I, I didn't put a specific number of rows. So this back part, when we work on the marguerite stitches, it may be a little bit different. So please don't stress out. We're gonna go over how to do this. Don't freak out, it'll be okay, I promise. So we're gonna start first with a row of single crochets. So go back to your piece right here. There's gonna be one kind of ugly side and one nicer side. So pick the side that's kind of funny looking. So just kind of look, this one's got a lot of really weird stitches. So I'm gonna pick this side. So pick the ugly side. The nice side is gonna go here in the front. And even then we're gonna do a row of single crochets at the end just to make it look nice and pretty. So pick the ugly side and let's get started here. So let me get rid of this right here. We're gonna work with our yarn. So we're gonna start in this corner stitch. Just pick the cornermost stitch you can find. Oh, I've got little fuzzies on my work. So whatever the corner, the most corner stitch you can find is. Just insert your hook into there. Let's get rid of all of this stuff here. You're gonna leave a nice long tail of yarn. Remember to weave that in later but leave a nice long tail, wrap this around your hook, and then just pull it through. So depending on what stitch you chose, it might be a little more difficult. Okay, now let this loose end just kind of hang there, and you're just gonna yarn over and chain one. And there we go, we're ready to begin. Now, I'm not gonna go over this part in great detail because all you're gonna do is just a row of single crochets. So here are all your stitches. Start with this very first one, and just single crochet. And you're gonna do this in every single stitch of the row. So I don't want this video to get horribly lengthy, so I'm just gonna let you do that. Pause the video if you need to, single crochet in every stitch of this row, and I'll see you again here in just a moment. All right, so once you finish this last single crochet of the row, let's begin with our marguerite stitch. We need to chain three. So it's one, two, three. Turn your work around. And now here's the fun stuff. You've got your three chains. Go into the second one, so the middle one. Insert your hook and pull up a loop. Go into the bottom stitch and pull up a loop. So we have one, two, don't count this top one. So it's just one, two, go into the first stitch. So it's gonna be three, because we have to pull up a total of five loops. Go into the next stitch four, and then go into the third stitch. So see, we're in stitch number three now. Five, all right, so you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five stitches, plus this one. If you wanna count this, fine, we have six, but this one doesn't really count. All right, so once you've got your six loops, or your five loops, you're going to yarn over and pull through all of these. Ta-da! And now you chain one. Now we're gonna repeat, only this one's gonna be a little bit different. So you're gonna go into this space right here. So see all of our loops, that chain one. 
you're going to stitch, you're going to pull up a loop for one. And then in this very last loop of your marguerite, right here, you're going to pull up another loop. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. That's two. Go bottom stitch, so right into where this one goes through. So that's three. Go into the next one. Four. This one. Five. So we have, we've pulled up five loops. We have a total of six on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all of these loops. You zoom out just a little bit so it's not so shaky. All right, so now you chain one and you just repeat. So insert your hook into that little center stitch of the flower, pull up a loop into this last one right there. Go through both of those loops, all right? So there's two loops. Just go through both of them like that. So that's two. The bottom stitch right there for three and then four and five. Yarn over and pull through all of them. And that's it. You just keep repeating this until you get to the end of the row. So once you've finished your row, you may have ended up with, remember that we have different number rows, so we may have ended up a little differently. So if you think you can fit another flower here, excellent. If you're already at the end of the row and you're like this, then perfect. But I just wanted to show this to you guys in case anybody was in the same situation as I am here, where I'm one stitch short. If that is the case, because it will probably happen to you in a different row, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start with your first few loops. So pull up all the loops you can. So we have one, two, three, and then see we've got this. So we only have three loops and we're at the last stitch. So for this last stitch, you're just gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that last loop and pull up a stitch. And there you go. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you just yarn over, pull up through all of these, and you are done. So for this next row, you're going to chain one more, turn your work around, and then we're going to single crochet in every other stitch because now we have to decrease in order to have this back part close out. So we have to decrease. So in every other row, or in every other stitch, excuse me, you're going to single crochet. So pick whether you wanna do these middle ones or these ones, it doesn't really matter. Pick one and start doing that. So I'm gonna single crochet in this next stitch and then skip this one, go into the next stitch and single crochet. Skip, next one, single crochet. And just keep doing this until you finish the row. So once you have finished your row of single crochets, you may or may not have enough at the end. So I did a single crochet and I don't have enough to do a, a skip stitch. So just crochet into this last stitch. So just make a single crochet. Again, this is gonna be very different depending on how many rows you have. So there isn't one specific number. It's just, you work with what you've got guys. So we've got our row of single crochets done. And now we just have to repeat a row of marguerite stitch. So we're gonna do one row marguerite, one row of single crochets, one marguerite, one single crochet, until you close up the top. So I'll, I'll start the row of marguerite with you guys and then I'll show you on the other bonnet um, what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna chain three. So we've got one, two, three. You're gonna turn your work around and we're gonna begin in this middle stitch. So in the second stitch, you're gonna insert your hook and pull up your first loop. So we've got one, go into the next stitch on the chain, two, go into the first stitch of the row, three, four, and five. You've got five loops. Yarn over, pull through all loops, and then you yarn over, you yarn over, because we're gonna make a chain. So chain one, and you're ready to begin again. So you just continue working a marguerite stitch into every stitch of the row. Now remember that these stitches, 
they're wider all right so don't make don't pull up two loops in one and it would actually be quite difficult for you to do that anyway you'd have to yarn over but just to be clear these are wider so don't worry that's the way it's supposed to be so just keep working on this make a marguerite stitch in every stitch of the row i'll see you when we finish so here we're at the end of that second repetition of marguerite row and now this is kind of what it looks like see it's starting to um go in kind of diagonally towards the inside that's what we need it to do now if you have enough stitches great if you don't have enough remember to just do a yarn over at the end but let's just pull up all these stitches i think i have enough to finish with one full marguerite so two three four because here's our single crochet so we have a single crochet and then here's that marguerite so go into that single crochet i did i had enough if you didn't have enough remember to just yarn over insert your hook into the stitch and that'll add an extra loop so here we go so finish that so you're going to end this last stitch on that marguerite and then you just yarn over pull through and then chain one so now to do to start our next row which is the row of single crochets you chain one turn your work around and then you immediately begin with a single crochet and then you skip a stitch single crochet skip a stitch single crochet all the way across and then just repeat um, another repetition or however many you need of marguerite and then another one of single crochets i'll see you once i get closer to the middle part and then we can sew the end so what you're going to be doing okay, let me zoom out a little you're going to do your row of marguerite and then your row of single crochet row of marguerite row of single crochet i did a total of one two it looks like three rows of marguerite um, stitches before I got towards the middle. Yours might be different because if you're making a bigger one you might need a few more rows. If you're making a smaller one maybe you need just two rows. So this is all different for everybody. Just um, work with what you've got. Make as many rows as you need. I'm going to do, I think I need at least two more, maybe one or two more for mine. And then I'll show you how we're going to close out the end and sew this up. So let me finish that. I'll see you again in just a moment. So how do you know when you're done? So I did three rows of marguerite stitches and then I just did the, what would it be, two rows of single crochets. So I haven't done my last row of single crochets yet. But how to know when you are done is you're just holding your bonnet. So hold it closed. And then all you're going to have is just this little space in the middle. That's it. That's how you know you're ready. So it could be four rows for you of marguerite stitches. It could be three. So I only needed three. Now for a row of single crochets, we're going to close this up and then we're just going to finish off here at the bottom. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with a chain one because I just finished my last marguerite. And for this one, I am just going to single crochet in every stitch. So start here with this first one and just single crochet all the way across. So pause it if you need to, we'll do this again, or we'll meet up again here in a minute. All right, so once you've reached that last stitch, this very last one, you need a total of three single crochets because we're gonna curve it around. What we're going to be doing, so you're gonna curve around and then you're gonna single crochet all the way down to here. And now you're gonna lift another row of uh, marguerite stitch so do your chain three and then do another row of marguerite stitch but this row you're gonna go all along the side so marguerite stitch here and then marguerite stitch here and here so you get to this end okay and that's gonna give us a little bit more height here so that we can close it a little bit more round and so that all of these ends meet up all right so let me do two more. So we have one, two, for a total of three single crochets in that corner. Now I'll just single crochet here really quickly and get to the end. All right, so that looks to be about the end, yeah. Okay, so now I'm just gonna chain three, turn my work around, and then Marguerite stitch all the way across. So if you get to the corners so once you get to here the next stitch is this one over here so this will only bring it in further so it'll close it up even more so don't worry about you ran out of stitches here this is the next stitch over so just come across here 
and then just keep on going, okay? So I'll let you do that row, get to this very end, and I'll see you again in a moment. So this is what it's gonna look like once you are done. So once you finish that very last marguerite stitch, make sure that you close your little flower. So we did that last little chain one, so we closed our little flower. Now you're gonna chain one more, tighten that up, that's just the knot. We're gonna leave a really long tail end of yarn because you're going to use this to sew your hat closed. So leave a nice long tail end of yarn and cut it. Pull your hook out along with your yarn, tighten that up. Now we're ready to sew. Now, pay attention here because we have two sides to this. There's the front side, which is where you can see all the marguerite stitches, and the back side, which doesn't look neat at all. Line up your hat. So these little edges, so where the bonnets, here you go, so this, line it up on both sides. And then just close your hat. So pinch in this, this middle part. Let me zoom out a little so you can see it better. Pinch in this bottom part right in here, this inside, and then just line up the edges. Go. So line it up, and you're gonna just sew down on the inside. So once you've lined it up however you want it, just turn it inside out and sew it. Or you can just line it up through the inside and then just sew along the edge. So right up here. Sew that and you're good to go. Um, so I'm just gonna sew this through with my yarn needle. It doesn't really matter how you sew it so long as you sew it on the inside of the hat, so on the wrong side, so that you don't see your, um, your seam. So I'll get this all sewed up and I will see you again here in just a moment. All right, so here's our little hat. I've sewn this back up, so here's the back end. What it looks like on the inside is like this. You'll have this little blip here, but as baby wears the bonnet, they're gonna push on this. It is really soft, so they'll push on this, and it'll give it a nice, beautiful round shape. So it'll look nice and cute and round. Now, for this last end right here, you're just gonna follow up with another row of single crochets if you wanna create a nice and even edge, which is what I did on this one. This last row of single crochets isn't necessary. You can just leave it as is. Um, I just did it so it created a really cute little edge. Now for the straps, here, let me grab my yarn. Go to the last two stitches on the corner. Insert your hook into the second to last stitch and pull up a loop. And now you're just going to chain. And we're gonna single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So in that corner stitch, just single crochet. And now chain one turn your work around and we're going to single crochet two so go into the next stitch you're going to single crochet and then go into stitch after that which is this little um, chain that we did and we're going to single crochet and now you chain one turn your work around and then single crochet single crochet the second one chain one turn it around single crochet single crochet, chain one, turn it around, and that's it. Just keep on going until you have the strap as long as you want it to be. Don't forget to go through and weave in all of your ends. Once you are through, that's it. And don't forget to stop by the website to get your copy of the written pattern for this tutorial. I will link the website down in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down here below so I can answer those in case anybody else has that same question. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every week. If you would like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, and thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all again next week.